Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword for the Angel of Death. I think we're about to become uh, a health inspector or something. We're going to pretend we're somebody, basically, who was on a piece of paper, so here we go. Hello, Sister Angelica. You again. What is it this time? Uh, we are the health inspector. Right. My name is Henry Steiner. And I am the health inspector. Oh, we've just changed that. But, uh, um, you, you, you're not due to arrive until tomorrow. They fall for it every time. <laughs> um, this is highly irregular. Uh, we're not ready. You're supposed to be always ready. Let's see what your boss has to say. No, wait. <laughs> I'm sure it's all right. Um, come to the door at the side and I'll let you in. That's right. <laughs> Thank we're you in. so much, sister. In we go. Nice. Results. The Sisters of Mercy welcome you, Mr. Steiner. You're in luck. We're just about to run a batch. Cool. My assistant, Sister Serena, will give you the tour. The complete tour, I hope? No exceptions? Of course. Follow me, please. I'd better keep Herr Steiner going till I can find a way through this place and into the monastery. Well, that is the plan. This factory has been the center of wafer production in Rome for nearly 80 years now. Nice. In 2000, we decided to automate the process, hence the Communion Companion 5XLI. Obviously, yeah. The Communion Companion 5XLI? Why, yes. Carry on. This machine has revolutionized our wafer production process and maximized output. First, the wafer ingredients are fed into the mixer to make the dough. The dough is then fed along the conveyor and into the cutter. Oh, God. From the cutter, the biscuits are... Stop! Oh. You said biscuits. I mean wafer. <laughs> yes, you do. Carry on. Yeah, get it right. Come oh. on. Anyway, the wafers are transferred to the ovens for baking. From the oven, they are cooled in the fresh air. Then the wafers are packed ready for delivery all over the globe cool thank you for visiting the sisters of mercy and enjoy your stay in our beautiful city all right well we're just going to have a look around you know i'm sure there's some bits and pieces we need to see uh, please tell me you don't have to have listened to the instructions to use this machine because i wasn't really doing that the mixing that for the wafer production line are we going to need to this is where the whole process for making wafers starts are we going to need to make wafers I really hope we're not. Um, I, mean, I don't have anything that would suggest we need to make wafers. Uh, you just stay there, Sister Serena. We'll we'll show ourselves around for our inspection. Um, you know, lots of inspecting to do, but apparently not that way. Uh, what's through here? Is this a door? No. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. Hey, there's a set of stairs over there. What's all this? I'm just going to do some inspecting here to see if there's... Ah, what's this? I'm going to have to do an inspection on this crate that's suspiciously differently coloured to the rest. That box looks like it's quite precariously balanced. Mm. One small movement and it's going to fall. Yeah, it'd be a shame if something happened to that. Oh dear. That pile of boxes is a health hazard. All it needs is one person to knock them over and there'll be wasted wafers everywhere. Yeah, could you imagine? <clears throat> make sure they're safe. Of course. I'll check them now. Right, so... She is tidying the boxes. She's not interested in me for the moment. Okay, so that's a distraction of... What's this? Hmm. It says on the side, emergency communion pack, wafers and wine. Okay. Emergency pack? Strange concept. Who'd run out of wafers and wine? Interesting. Please don't touch those, Mr. Steiner. Oh, what are they for? You never know when a church might run dry of wafers or wine. But surely they should be prepared for the communion. Anything can happen. Flash hmm. flooding, fires. Acts of God. Exactly. Suspicious, if you ask me. Right, let's see if we can do anything with that while she's distracted by the the crate which has again been put back in the wrong place tut 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 it's no, gonna be no, a no, fail no. that still won't do look how easily i can tip the boxes over yeah i'm sorry mr steiner i'll get right on it 
The lives of the innocent are in your hands, my dear. Yeah, it's wrong. But it feels so good, too. Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can... <coughs> can do anything with this emergency box while she's doing that. Come on, George, a bit quicker, mate. The box is firmly taped down. I'm not going to be able to open it quietly that way. Okay, fine. So, all right, while she's gone, let's see if we can... Going somewhere, Mr. Steiner? No, just looking around. Double check everything. That's my motto. Not down there, I'm afraid. Papal permission is required to enter the monastery. Oh, yeah? Not even the Pope himself can stand in the way of health and safety. I think you'll find he can. Goodbye. Oh, God, if I could only get rid of her. <laughs> All right, fine. All right, let's see if we can do anything else here. Uh, so we've got that up there. We've got that there. Something here. What's this? The box has been packed with communion wafers. Okay. Can we take any of those? Oh, Mr. Steiner, this is a clean area. Yes, I knew that. I was just checking you knew the rule book too. Are you in charge of this area? Yes. That's where I pack the wafers for dispatch. So this area is a food-free zone? Yes, yes, I never eat food in this area. Ah. Never? No, never. Never ever? No, never ever ever. Hmm, we'll see. <gasps> we will. Wonder if we've got to put some food in there while this is, uh, this distraction is taking place. No, 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 that still won't do. Look how easily I can tip the boxes over. I'm sorry, Mr. Steiner, I'll get right on it. Luckily for us, she just. Of the innocent are in your hands, my dear. Yeah, luckily, it's wrong, but it feels so good too. Yeah, luckily for us, she just keeps on putting the box back in a dangerous place. So, you know, there's that. Can we take any of this, by the way? It's a half-packed box of communion wafers. I they want this one. Oh, okay. So we got a communion wafer. Can we put anything like this in here? Sister Serena is watching me like a hawk. Or a sparrow, maybe. There is no way I can do that. Okay. Unless... Let's try it again. No, 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 no. That still won't do. Look how easily I can tip the boxes over. <coughs> Sorry, Mr. Steiner. I'll get right on it. The lives of the innocent are in your hands, my dear. Yeah, it's wrong. But it feels so good, too. So... I'm guessing we can put like the the bread or the the meat in there. Oh, there we go. For a while. Sister Serena, could I see you here for a moment, please? What is that? Oh my word! How on earth? I don't believe it. It was you. Admit it. Section twelve of Bylaw thirty-eight B, Section C. Clearly states that all areas for the packing of food must be kept separate from the areas of food consumption. I thought you said you never eat around this area. Yeah. I don't know how. Or well, it could. But I, I never. This is a clear violation, and the penalty for violations is severe. Please, please, let me clear it up. I'll double check everything. I don't want to go back to polishing candles. Hmm. Ha! Polishing. You should be so lucky. We are talking prison here. Prison? <laughs> prison? Holy mother. Oh, do stop that ridiculous display. But I feel so guilty. And you are. However? Yes? If you ensure there's not a scrap of food remaining, I might overlook the matter. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll get right on it. The place has to be spotless. Yep. Of course, of course. Will you be okay looking around on your own? Well, I shall just have to be. <laughs> yeah, no choice. Fantastic. Now I've got the run of the place. Nice. Okay. So can we get into this box now, or is she still too nearby? The box is firmly taped down. I'm not going to be able to open it quietly that way. So do we have another way of opening the box? Maybe we can, like, use the key to... I've got no reason to try that. No? Okay, fine. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> I was going to say the paperclip, but the knife will probably do the trick, right? Yep. Alright. 
What's in here? I'll have that. Thank you very much. What is it? It's More wafers? It's a bottle of red wine with a screw cap. Ooh, why? Very classy. Okay, a miniature bottle of wine. Wasn't expecting that, but we'll take it. Uh, anything else in there? Yeah, I've got the wine I need. I don't need any more. Okay, fine. We don't need any more. Uh, <coughs> thingies that way. This is the door we came in from. Can we do anything with these boxes? Doesn't look like it. Right, what's up the stairs then? Is it just going to be a dead end? Uh, right, it goes round this way. Oh, I see. We can access this. Alright, well, let's have a look at this thing. So this is where they make the wafers, right? I can just see into the mixing machine. Alright, what do we want to put in? blades are spinning and mixing a fresh batch of dough. Right, so can we chuck something in there to ruin it? Hmm, that won't work here. No, that won't work. Uh, the wine? Yeah, I'm looks like... A naughty, 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 naughty health inspector. <laughs> now all I have to do is let it work its way through. Well, that that should be fine. Let's close that up before... I'm not going to stick my hand in there. No, I was... I figure they aren't interested in new lines. <laughs> especially not finger flavor. Ugh, could you imagine? Okay, looks like we can't close that. <clears throat> Whatever, though, that should be a... Uh... We use the wine instantly, which is quite cool. Not one of those inventory items that hangs around for, you know, four hours before you get to use it. Oh, straight away something's happening. Now then, Sister Serena, the next batch is ready. Oh, <laughs> you're going to be in trouble. I kind of feel bad. I'm sure you appreciate perfection, Mr. Steiner. Oh, yes, but I barely witness it. Outside my own Bailey Vic, of course. Bailey Vic? Bless you. <laughs> Well, here we go. The next batch of classic wafers. Here they come. I mean, I feel bad for Serena because she's been nice. Angelica, on the other hand. Oh, God. <laughs> Looks like someone died in there. Oh, dear. So this is the colour of perfection? Uh, 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 but uh, how could this happen? Two little words, Sister Angelica. Sloppy maintenance. Yeah. But that machine is cleaned every day. In this case, it would seem cleanliness is not next to godliness. <laughs> I have no choice but to close this place down. Yeah. Please, no. We have a large order to complete. Such a shame I was not made more welcome. Oh, Mr. Steiner. There must be something we can do. One so rarely hears the word sorry these days. Wouldn't you agree, sister? Sorry? Oh, I see. Mr. Steiner, I am very sorry for this terrible lapse. Hmm. Hmm. With feeling? Very, very sorry. <laughs> well, I suppose if you could fix it now, then I might overlook the issue. But it has to be spotless. <laughs> of course. You make yourself comfortable and we'll knuckle <laughs> down to it. All right. So I think we can probably get past the, the bit where she was now. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's probably fair to say that if God exists in Broken Sword Land, universe, wh whatever you want to call it, George is well and truly going to hell. Locked. After some of the things he's done in this game. <laughs> Sister Angelica's locked the door to her office. Maybe oh. she doesn't trust me. Okay, well, let's see what else is around here. Yeah, George is going to hell, basically. He's, uh, yeah, he's not covered himself in glory in this particular game so far, has he? <laughs> I mean, you could probably say that, you know, maybe the fact that he's saved the world on three separate occasions might be in it, you know, might play into his hands a little bit, but yeah. Okay. Uh, oh no. Don't tell me. It's not, is it? Oh no, it's not. It's fine. I was going to say, it's a, it's a box pushing puzzle, but it's not. Can we... Come on. I don't want to... I just want to come and see if there's anything over here. Okay, so we can... S 
We can stand on those crates. Oh, I see. This is locked. Damn, the gate's locked. And I don't like the idea of climbing over it. Not with those spikes. I mean, those spikes don't look too bad, George. You could fit between two of those. Pretty sure he could. Um, so it looks like we can... Can only climb on these. Um, can we... Ah, hang on. Of course. We can shimmy across. I forgot we could do that. Completely forgot that was a thing in this game. Right, we'll shimmy across and go up here into this area with some nice looking hedges. Don't see any guards or anyone around, which is good for us. Oh, but they're maybe monks, maybe cultist leaders, who knows. I'm thinking monks. <laughs> Hopefully not Templars, or Neo-Templars, although the Neo-Templars turned out to be the good guys and we became one in the third game, so... Damn, garden's full of monks. It's monks, okay, fine. Well, guys, I'll tell you what, on that note, we're going to be sneaking past monks in the next one. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, and Coomadin. And I'll see you next time.